to be among so many unbelievably talented individuals being recognized tonight and those that have been recognized in the past um, with this honor and all of the Hall of Fame inductees is amazing. I have no performance talent whatsoever. <laughs> I don't sing, I don't dance, I can't act. Absolutely none of that. But I have a true passion for the arts and I have an even more passion for arts education. This is a wonderful recognition, but it seems unfair to receive recognition for something that you are so passionate about. But Nancy, thank you very much. Myron, thank you for the very lovely introduction. It's, I think my journey started um, very young. I drew a lot of different things and, and loved to draw, loved to paint, loved to do all kinds of caricatures and um, it was just fun. That was the way I had to express myself. But it really kind of hit me when I was in the seventh grade and I had an art teacher that I absolutely adored. And from that moment on, I knew I was gonna be an art teacher. She was my inspiration. We've all had one of those teachers or one of those individuals who have inspired us and mentored us along the way. I was fortunate in that. Throughout my career, I have had wonderful opportunities and I've encountered exceptional individuals who believed in me and shared my passion for the importance of the arts. Through their trust, I've been able to forge powerful partnerships and collaborations focused on enriching the lives of young people through the arts. I thank them all for those opportunities. The Smith Center was but a dream when I was growing up here. I traveled with my family to other communities and saw these wonderful, exceptional facilities of performing arts centers, but we didn't have one. I now live a dream every day as part of the Smith Center leadership team. To be able to bring audiences, and of course this pandemic year, um, we have not been able to host those wonderful audiences, but we will again, and very soon. But the most important audiences to me are those of young people. When those young people arrive in front of the Smith Center, they're blown away. Um, it's just an unbelievable facility. They walk in the lobby. They are just in awe of the architecture, of the interior, of all of the art that is in that facility. When they take their seats and it goes dark, the lights come on and that show, that story that they knew so well comes to life on stage is but a dream. And to see their faces and to hear the excitement and the joy. You know, when we are audience members in a performance, we pretty well sit still and have our hands in our laps and we clap at the right times, laugh at the right times. When kids are in a performance, they are moving every moment. I mean, they are just, there are no inhibitions. They are enjoying absolutely everything. So I challenge each one of you find a way to ensure that every child has the opportunity for arts education in the classroom and exceptional arts experiences in the community. Thank you. Thank you.